Option. It might be an option for GFAM right now. Your team is and it's going to be Moscow first. Time and time that and long lane. Now. It looks like gonna be uh, Beatrix and possibly Franco. Yep. Yeah. It's gonna be a Franco, Beatrix, and now Veldora. If he jumps in, he is cooked. He has to pick uh, maybe a Vengeance we can, because it can be utilized, it can be used, even though he got suppressed. So expect that. Now, this is the big question, Colius. Like, I. Okay, Oh man, I don't think Bane is a good option either, to be honest. Against a Hylos? Ling? Oh. Yeah. Ling for Amy, Luoyi, and Beatrix on the early game. But with but Matilda. With Matilda. Ah. That's the problem. An oh! Egg is this it? There you go. Oh man. Is this the hidden strat that we've been waiting from the regular season? This is a. Actually, wait. Debut pick. Wait, 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 wait. Is that Chidera on the X Borg? No way, right? No, no, no way, no way. It's a, it's a, it's a visual bug, Moscow. right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But honestly, I love the drop of, from Geek Fam. It, it looks solid, but looking against Onyx, who using Luo, if they got the map control, I think Fnatic Onyx will get the first game. All right, what about you, Shafin? I don't know, man. I think Geek Fam has a chance here, as long as they play the kiting game properly. But with a bit on a notice, though. This is the best pickoff team in Indonesia, in Fnatic Onyx. Yep. You have to somehow absolutely dodge all of the things that's coming from Keyboy. All right. So the compositions have been set in stone. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to throw it over to our casters to bring you game number one. One life, one goal, and one chance to make it even further in the brackets. Welcome to Land of Dawn. Game number one, it is Geek Fam against Fnatic Onyx. Talk to me about the draft, Arashi. A surprising turn of events. We see Vincent finally on a fighter. That's great news for Geek Fam. Amazing. On top of that, though, they got the Yeev, high ground mage for a boy. That's great. They got the Mathilda for Boloiski. They have a very solid draft fight here. Even Chadera with a, a bit of a signature pick on the Moscow too. Yep. They have a great balance here in whatever they want to do. So they can play it safe. They can play it aggressive if they want to. The only real concern is that when Fnatic Onyx get some power spikes and go for the, for those early game pickoffs. But aside from that, if Geek Fam can kind of oh. play it safe, they can make sure that Beloisky can save anyone getting jumped on. This could be a pretty good game for Geek Fam. If you take a look at the emblems here by Indy Home, Wilderness Blessings for the mid lane and the roam. It's all about moving around, man. It's about clearing and then going for those ganks. Weapon Mastery for CW. Gonna take a bit longer to ramp up. Whereas Chadera going with the Master Assassin wants to get some more pressure, some more fire in that lane. But look at Beloisky. Oh, great stun over. Oh, with a blaze of the Immortal Form. That's first blood over to Kai. Oh, that damage Woo. coming in from the Suyo. Is Suyo that strong in that early game, Arashi? I mean, the Suyo is absolutely <laughs> amazing. Look at that damage. Oh, boy. Oh, that's an iron hook. Oh, boy. Flicker. No easy ignition, luckily, to take him down there. But that's a wasted flicker. Already so much pressure by the Suyo. Oh man, no way for Game Fam to kind of match that kind of burst damage in the early game. You look at their composition, it's a lot of continuous damage. The Yeev spamming out spells, Boloisky spamming out wisps as well as Vincent's just spraying with the fire. Not a lot of burst damage. So when Kyrie wants to go in and just go for the 1v1 trade in damage, he wins every single time. You gotta wait a bit longer here before they can kind of match up. But this is the turtle with the level 4 power spikes. In Geek Fam, in theory, have a lot of tools to guarantee that they can go for this 50 50. Yeah, I've talked about the setup. Geek Fam has it all. They have the zoning tools, they have the jump tools to really just rile Fnatic Onic, the total scenarios. But for now, it's just rest, trying to tank up the total. But in bottom lane, bloody hot, Nibiru's passion, CW. Finding the kill, now Rez all alone, isolated. Off to the glorious pathway, and Revitalize should be able to escape Rez. here as the chase won't be continued. Geek Fam will secure the neutral objective, but it does seem like for Fnatic Onyx, they don't care about the neutral objective. They'll go straight for the purple buff. A hook missing there from Keyboy. Good yin yang reaction. Oh, we're gonna be copying Circling Eagle. Now burned down to the ground by Vincent on the X Borg, and he will lose the purple buff. Heck, he'll lose everything in the bottom side jungle. Wow, highway robbery from Kyrie right there. Fnatic Onyx, understanding they don't really have the same kind of impact level 4, they just give up the neutral objective and go straight for the change, the trade on the other side of the map and the purple buff invade. Looking at the talent predictions here by the new application, GoPay. I mean, sure. Same sure. old story. <laughs> it's always going to be classic Papulung. BB! Only him with the Geek Fam donning that banner, but now Rez up top. Valdora and Vincent working in tandem to just win out the pressure. But Keyboy always on the move, always on the hunt. 
and Kyrie. In this moment in time, I feel like he is already strong enough to just get the Faisa hook. Misses towards the boy. Yeah, this version. Really version. Ooh. They might not need the hook. A point reads it out. Now Belowski with a circling eagle and the real world of Palatian. Kyrie Fear. to be able to shot some damage, but that's going to be Keyboy locked down. Chadera with the SOD. Now the last insanity. It won't really connect onto anyone. Say goodbye to the Faraga armor. That's a shot down. A boy trying to survive. Kyrie goes in. A boy with a flicker out. Beltora walking forward. Unfortunately, unable to get the demonic force proc on anyone. No. It is a very, very close trade. The RWM opened up, but Loiski still able to even survive that long. A boy, almost a victim. But again, they play chess here. That's a cooldown shoes for Kyrie as well. He's going all out here to get as much spam damage out as possible. Man, in the early game though, you can see the pressure through for Fnatic Onyx, but Geekfam, by abusing the Circling Eagle's card control immunity there, you saw Beloisky able to kind of surprisingly be, the, be durable, be hard to catch there, even though against the Franco, that's usually a scary proposition, especially with the Franco in the hands of G-Boy. This is not just a random roamer here, one of the best in Indonesia. Yeah, Turtle now again, just being ping-ponged around, and Kyrie has piled towards that diversion, from the backside, they can go for a oh. H. Unfortunate. Not able to connect there. In front of pursuit from Valdora. Now the retreat battle. It's Kai who wins it out. Rest still in the midst of it all. Tanking a whole lot of the damage. Now onto Vincent. He goes. A circling eagle over. Buddy Hunt locks Valdora down. But he has the infernal pursuit. And the guy window. It's not enough. He gets hooked back right into the battlefield and gunned down by Mr. CW. But Chidera will stay busy in the bottom lane. He will get a tier one. Trades across the map. Turtle, a kill. And down bottom Chidera is able to at least knock down the tier one turret. The Oi. pressure unstoppable. Beloisky dancing with the devil. Oh. Not gonna dance that long, but that's so deep from Chidera. Finds Sans with the Spear of Misery, just pins him down on that wall. The passive save gold lane are finding moments of his own right here. This is a high octane gain that we're not expecting from Gate Fam. Look at Vincent Dome, 1 D2. Gee. Ooh. W walking up already with the Renners. Pops the Faraga armor there from Vincent, and he's just everywhere now. Looking to back up the skirmishes. But now, Fnatic Onik, they are indeed, you know, the ones grabbing the tempo, but slowly but surely, Geek Fam's always very quick on the response. You can take a look at how they are actively pouncing on every potential chance to jump the hook. Oh, Circling Eagle! Good cancel with the Circling Eagle. Doltora, unfortunately again, just barely out of range. It's just not enough. And now for both teams, it's just waiting around, finding the right moment here to really strike. Kiboy definitely has the advantage though. Boloisky trying his best to kind of find info, but realistically, the only person that can kind of move forward and not get bursted down immediately is Vincent. Vildoro is running the flicker, mind you, so he can make more plays happen, but he's no longer as durable, especially against the full burst of the Matrix. And look at the Onyx move. Boloisky walking forward very far away. Rez isolated, gets a stun down with the Glorious Pathway. A boy will be able to lock him oh! down! Keyboy finding the angle. Sun's getting the heat oh! reaction. And Calvin Renata just taking all of the kills. Bennett's rage, but in a much more traditional way. Triple kill the AOE is disgusting. Keyboy with an iron hook to catch a boy. That's eight to three. Only Mr. Vincent is left alive. What is he gonna do against the horse? This death ball isn't stopping anytime soon. Vincent is stuck in a rock in a hard place. He is isolated, but backup will come from up top. Great move for Fnatic Onyx, man. They know that they don't really have the advantage when it comes to the neutral objectives. Ooh. So why fight at the neutral objectives? Keep going for the pressure when it's not up just yet. Catch him off guard with the Iron Hurks. This is exactly how you're supposed to beat this kind of composition. And look at Beloisky, man. He's trying to find info, but it's a risky situation with Keyboy. Zoning everyone away. That's a free turtle for Fnatic Onyx. Keyboy is just up there, asserting his dominance. Not actively seeking for a hook, it's much more of a zone out play coming in from D-Boy as Rez marches into Ooh. Vincent. They're trying to invade this jungle and Vincent does not have the comfort of his own home. It's just stolen away from Onik, or rather Fnatic Onik this time around. Rez looking to just pop the Glorious Pathway. Oh, he just doesn't care. Parry from the side, oh. the arrow down to Nero low! Still able to escape with the help of the Guiding Wind, but my god, that's a lot of damage. 
Diversion for the flanks. Bloiski doesn't read it out. Costing the guiding win. That's a stun over. Unite reaction for the real world of Bleach and locking him down as well. Rez isolated. Hasn't revitalized. Last Insanity will blow him up. That's a sod that will not connect out the CW. But it's a free tier 2 up top for Fnatic Onic. You can take a look at how... The damage coming from Bloiski is just so disgusting. How does Oi, Fnatic Onic deal with Almost. I mean, they can. They just have to make sure they don't clump up. Keyboy taking a lot of damage with this. Oh! Whoa! Oh, oh, with the win. flicker forward and oh. he gets the kill! No punishment! Geekbam can't do nothing against CW! Get out of my jungle, he says! He flickers forward with so much bravery and courage. The audacity to do that. It's definitely a lot of aggression coming in from Fnatic Onyx. Looking at the items though, even with the flask of the Oasis here, Fnatic Onyx, they're able to get a lot of value, a lot of moments here. Geek fam, they're gonna really respect the composition. They're trying to group up together to avoid getting picked off, but because of that, they're getting combat by the low E. They have to pick their poison and double down on it. And especially when the Iron Hawk is down like this, they have to kind of find ways to capitalize. But right now, they're waiting for the right moment to play, try and play around the neutral objective. This is the Lord after all. This is where the pressure is a lot higher on Fnatic Onyx to try and play that Lord dance that Geek fam are well known to do many times before, but with 5 seconds to go, with the lanes not really set up for Geek Fam's success right here, it's looking quite dangerous. I like that, uh, that point you made, Arashi. The fact that this draft coming from Fnatic Onyx is kind of like a contradictive draft for Geek Fam to deal with. In one way, you don't want to clump up, but you have Wu Yi over there. Oh wait, what Faraga armor? Volorski with the Guiding Wind into his Amizer Oh! CW just snipes him down! Right with the Glorious Pathway, setting him up to Dera. Caught him into the Diversion, Spear of Misery, Diversion, bro! Sans! T-Boy gets a bloody hunt, Veldora gets gunned down again! Fnatic, Onyx are stomping through Geek Fam! They're not stopping anytime soon, a boy! Oh! oh. The hook misses and a boy goes away scot free. But that is damage done. And that is so much damage from Fnatic Onyx. The decisiveness for Fnatic Onyx to keep moving forward there is not allowing them so much success. You can say it's because they're snowballing, it's because they've had better setup before the neutral objective. But the fact is, every single time they're moving forward, Geek Fam with this competition oh, <laughs> can't stand there. They have to just move forward backwards again and again. And when they do, now they have to con they have to consider the possibility of a diversion behind them once more. All of these angles just cut off for Geek Fam by Fnatic Onyx. Yeah. You don't want to clump up, but there's this Lo Yi, always looking to just exert the damage. And Sans is finally back on track. We haven't seen much of him in the regular season. He has been shrouded behind the shadows of other young blood mid laners, but now he's here. He wants to play and he wants to go to M6, even though it's still far fetched. Oh, the yeah, young reaction finding too. Look at this time. Oh boy, almost getting taken out of the board there. Vincent and Chadera should still be able to clear out this Lord. Rest taken to a quarter, but has so much regen in his kit. No base through taken down. Still good high ground defense from Geek Fam. Hamayeev, x Korg, and the Moscow. Seems though that CW is still putting out as much pressure as he can. Always just putting the Bennett damage on these turrets. Yeah, they have the tools to really defend their base. They have Eve with the range of the poke. They also have Moscow for the wave clear. And then Vincent can just come, out, come in and come out with the Faraga armor. So Fnatic Onyx, they have to play it slow. They have to play it in a much more disciplined approach. Right now though, for Geek Fam, Chidera has reached the 3 item power spike, so there's that to consider for Fnatic Onyx, but they keep going here. Last insanity with the real location there. It's all of them pulled in, through wow. the big combo! CW forced to use it with an nature, positive defense rate, Veldora with a chase, and Sony Chidera! Going all the way back onto Kyrie, pinning him down for Baloy to get a double! In an instance, it's a 4 for 0 for Geek Fam! In a blink of an eye, Fnatic Onyx evaporate in the middle of the fight! Geek fam, the King Slayers, they pounce forward since just oh. not having to defend this. 1v5. We've seen this before, haven't we? They're but now down. against a full team. Sans yeah. do another. Sans finding two to defend the game as usual in Sans fashion. Wow. Aggressive moves for Geek fam that to somehow try and go for the end. That was as desperate move as possible, but Fnatic Onyx, they have recovered. Now they're back on the map. The goal difference though has shrunk down from 10,000 to only 3,000. Oh. That's an SOD landing, but... No, Chedera. Chedera. No, 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 way. Okay, okay. Not possible. Don't press. Not for a second, Matt was in the game. <laughs> for a second right there. But again, look at, the, look at the potential for Geek Fam once they have their backs against the wall, right? In a way, 
they're in a desperate situation, but in a way, their backline is quite safe as well. That's a Starlium Scythe picked up by Beloisky there. He is not going for any tank units whatsoever. More damage, more utility technically. But again, if their backline can just reliably put out damage without being too concerned about the Franco, without being too concerned about the Suyo, or even uh, the Diversion on, on, on the backline, they can just keep outputting the damage. And they have reached a threshold at this point that they can out-damage the front to back, but they have to watch out for this, the pesky moves, the maneuvers here on Fnatic Onyx. Vincent has scaled. Take a look at the damage. He's already able to slowly but surely deal with the frontliners of Fnatic Onyx. Malois with the Guiding Wind. The hold over, Infernal Pursuit not used up just yet. The Spirit of Misery will pin him down. But have just made out the Revitalize. Rez all alone, Real Room and Blazing, and Vincent just takes him out with the fire. Oh, it's very easy for them now to just shred down a Rez. They have the damage. They're scaling with their items. And this oh, now yeah. looks kind of scary for Fnatic Onyx. The Eve is going to be massive. And these team fights just poking down Rez. Looking to bait out the Glorious Pathway and then go back. It's just a bait and switch at this point for Geek Fam. And for Veldora, he will be the second in line to just jump into the back line of Fnatic Onyx. Look at how zoned out they are from the pit. And Kyrie is looking for a flank angle. They're gonna go for it. Let's see what they do. You name reaction oh. Oh. over towards the boys. They're able to escape. He doesn't want to get to their oh. He goes back to the Viru in time. Geek Fam, the diversion. diversion. They're not gonna know what hit him, sons. In the back, going for a boy, going for the kill. A boy taken out. Vincent chased down by Kyrie on the Suyo. Another four, oh. a stun missing, and Fnatic Onyx will have to back away for now. They'll have another wave in the mid lane to try to end the game. It's just Vincent having to stare at the deadly corpses of his teammates. Fnatic Onyx, they want to reclaim their throne. They look to set their sights on the crystal. It's just Vincent having to hold this by himself. 1v5, last insanity. Can he get the retribution? He bought him in so much time. He will finally be taken down. Kedera's gonna be up again. He bought enough time with the diversion coming down though for Fnatic Onyx. Oh! oh. He's gonna go straight for the Lord! They peace out right out of there. Immediately to the Lord. Geek Fam trying to find a way to capitalize again on the overaggression of Fnatic Onyx. But it won't be allowed at all. The gold difference now back to 7,000. Fnatic Onyx, after the minor setback, it was a major setback, but they made it look like a minor setback in the grand scheme of things. Now with the Lord at their back, once again, their task is to crack open the base. This is Geek Fam, under the shot calling of Beloisky. They've been able to fend up a lot of different kinds of attempts to crack open the base, but now against Fnatic Onyx, there's just so many variables. Can they do it yet again? Great wave manipulation from the sound of Geek Fam. Keyboy, trying to go for a cheeky iron hook. There's one minion that wasn't cleared out though. Now Fnatic Onyx make their charge into the base. Kai with the snipe over to the Fraga armor. The sign Vincent has immortality. Lord of the oh. Middle Lane dealt with. Now Veldora will be caught. Still having the help of the Guiding Wind. Vincent still dealing with the Lord. Lord has been dealt with. The Lord. coming down. The base wide open. The real rubble blade will zone TWS. Kyrie will be isolated, but will still be able to blink out to oh. safety. A boy picking up one. Oh. Oh. Going to the back. CW going to be compromised. CW is pinned down by the Spirit of Misery. As he goes in for the win of nature. But CW gets the Bennett down onto Chanera. Oh. Oh. With a flicker. This is a risky play, Chanera. Now with a blink again. Almost getting a massive play to turn the game around. But we have ourselves a game, folks. Two for one. This is still game number one. Sheesh. So high paced and geek Very. fam. They're still able to hold the line. Fnatic Onic. It seems like they're stuck in a cul-de-sac trying to push into the base of Geek Fam. What's the main problem, Arashi? It's the lack of range, technically. And the, w the way that they are operating, they go for pickoffs. But the fact that Budoloiski has been able to save whoever's getting jumped on again and again, Vodora got bloody hunted and he was frisked down by the Bennett's Rage. But then Beloisi comes in and saves him, right? With that, with all the resources being spent to try and get Vildora out of the game and he survived, right? He comes back in along with all the AOE coming in from a boy, from Chadera. They just have to make sure that the pickup attempt actually lands. And the thing is, Beloisky is so good at foreseeing how these fights are gonna go and just saving the right spell for the right moment. Again and again here, he's able to deny Fnatic Onyx play with a Circling Eagle just a couple of fights earlier. And even with the Guiding Winds at the right exact moment. That's what they have to try and deal with here. Fnatic Onyx have to find a way to not fight Geek Fam front to back. Yeah. In theory, it should be right here when they're playing against the Lord in the Lord Dances. Ooh. If they can find a fight, against Geek Fam here outside when they can use a flank maneuver, when they can go for a diversion play. That could be their win condition, but I don't think Geek Fam will bite. They are known as one of the more patient teams in MPL ID. It's far easier for Fnatic Onyx to maneuver back 
when Geek Fam is coming towards them because they have so much control with the Luo Yi and then you have Rez could pop that pathway defensively. But then so far Geek Fam, they have been very, very much defensive. They have been very, very patient on waiting for Fnatic to pull the trigger. Let's see. And it's going to be an important lord for them. Geek Fam, will they defend or will they catch the bait? Well, Fnatic Onyx are first on to the Lord. They will reset, they will give them time. Moscow in the bottom lane still clearing out the wave, so this is great setup for Fnatic Onyx. Yeah, this is, you know, the good opportunity that Geek Fam has. They have the global presence, but look at this. Look! Over to Veldora. Circling Eagle trying to cancel it. Veldora gets deleted before he can even do anything. Now do they fight? Real Rebel Blade Blaze attaching Sans. Oh, Jody not connecting Sans very low. Pops in a conceal from Keyboy. He tries to survive. Beloisky buying a little bit more time, trying to get an angle of attack. The minion. But take a look at the minion waves in the mid lane, crashing down into the base. A big forced error from the side of Fnatic Onic into Geek Fan, but they have minion waves spawning in again. Diversion to bring Sans back into the Lord Pit. Oh, Fnatic Onic, they have so much cryo up top in mid, and Rez will open up the pathway. Kyrie with the sun, a boy getting the dash. Now it's gonna be Vincent, who's gonna be caught in the midst of it all. Rez bursts it down, has it with a crown. That's gonna be his passion, cancelled out by Beloisky. Kyrie, Kyrie in the back! Going for a boy who has the flicker, Vincent still somehow surviving. Will lose his immortality though. Shot down by Kyrie in the arrow of the immortal form. Oh man, a massive back and forth right here. Both teams swapping the items out as well. Veldora now with the winter crown. Rez though is way too low. He's sticking around knowing how important this Lord is, but Geek Fam, they're still here to fight. They want to make sure they do get the moment they require. Oh, so yeah, deep into the front. Yeah. Circling Eagle, two man. They need to go for a big fight here, Rez. Can he survive? Diversion. One HP gets so with the diversion. No! What? What? No, that was... The diversion was in place? Was it? In... Yeah, it was. Okay. Interesting result right there. Game of inches. Fnatic Onic, unfazed, man. Low HP bars, ultimates down, it doesn't matter. They have confidence in their execution. Chidera picks up the rose gold right there, rounding out the full six item inventory slot. This might be the final fight right here. If one team comes out on top dominantly, let's say with a wipeout, this could be the final fight for either team. Yeah. Marching towards the base, eyeing the crystal and the Lord this time will accompany them. Geek fam, they have to make yet another defense. That's the last insanity. Real world inflation used up as well. CW is away by Peltora. Oh, he will lose his slot to Sans with the Yang reaction. To Derek in the pin down out to two members. Kai, the base is open. Sans wants to go for it. Lord taking very low. That's a stun over from Kai and Fnatic Onic gets it done in game number one after a back and forth. Geek fam made it hard. And Fnatic Onyx still, they remain a supreme in game number one. That was so close. And Geek Fam, their base, rock solid for two or three pushes coming from Fnatic Onyx, but still they prevail. 1-0, Fnatic Onyx gets the victory.